Hey everyone, a sad night here, and welcome to another unboxing video. As of this video, it is May 19th, 2023, and in this video I will be unboxing the definitive edition of Shadow Warrior 3 for PlayStation 5. This is of course the third entry in the Shadow Warrior series developed by Flying Wild Hog, who have also developed Shadow Warriors 1 and 2, as well as various other games you might have heard of like Trek to Yomi and Evil West, and is published by Devolver Digital, who have also published the Shadow Warrior games amongst various other indie titles. Now, as of this video, I'm still playing my way through Shadow Warrior 1, which I'm surprisingly enjoying so far. It's not perfect by any means, but if you want more of my thoughts on the first game, feel free to ask in the comments below. But once I'm done playing through that, and I'm pretty sure I'm nearing the end now, I'll make my way through Shadow Warrior 2, and then of course this third entry. And in regards to this, it plays very similar to the recent Doom games, that being the 2016 one and Doom Eternal, and I've enjoyed both of those, so I no doubt will be enjoying this as well. Oh, and also, this is... as of today, this is when it officially releases, so... If you ever wanted a physical copy of Shadow Warrior 3, you can do so now by ordering online. And without further ado, let's get to the unboxing. So of course here's the front with the Shadow Warrior 3 logo along with the Definitive Edition moniker for this release. And the 3 is a is stylized to look like a dragon next to the main character's head. It's rated 18, of course, because it's quite a violent game. There's the developer's name, Flying Wild Hog, and then the publisher, Devolver Digital. Going over to the spine, of course, there's the PlayStation 5 logo, the title, and then the publisher again, as long as with the retail code, I think. I don't know, I've never really wondered about that. And then here's the back. Of course, you got a picture of the main character himself, as well as various gameplay screenshots. And then your bullet points about what the game features. Oh, and here at the bottom, it tells you about the New modes exclusive to the Definitive Edition, although I believe the PS4 got them as well through updates. It is a single player game. It holds up to 25 gigabytes of memory, or the game contains 25 gigabytes minimum you need to download, and the usual stuff. And then we open the case. Here is the game disc, the usual like warranty inserts and such, eh, not really too much about that. And then actually if we pop the game disc out, here is a insert at the bottom. And here is a better look at that insert. With the character himself. And that's all there is to it. It's just a standard case, like most other game cases. And of course, again, once I've finished working my way through Shadow Warriors 1 and 2, I will get to this and hopefully, or most likely, I will enjoy it a lot. And yeah, that's. That's it, really. Oh, and um, just one thing real quick before I end the video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want me to do a sort of live stream talking about the announcements from the PlayStation Showcase next week. 
I won't be doing a live reaction. I'll do more like a my thoughts on the announcements after the show's over sort of thing. So if you want to see that, let me know and I'll be sure to figure out some way of doing it. And yeah, now, now that is it. This is a sad night saying goodbye and I hope you have a wonderful day.